Hi, my name is Isabel Garcia. I'm a senior at Columbia Secondary School. Hello, my name is Sylvester Nava, and I'm also a senior at Columbia Secondary School. Hello, my name is Jonathan Guzman, and I am a senior at Columbia Secondary School. And this is our app, Think About It. This app was developed to aid high school and college students so they can apply active learning and recall to their study habits. This method has been proven to work for actually learning and retaining what you, know, what you learn for a long period of time. We used a Quasar framework that allowed us to use JavaScript, U.js, HTML, and CSS to create this app. Once the user opens the app, they come across the onboarding screen that shows them how to use the app. The user will then access the Active Recall Session library to see older Active Recall Sessions, and they can click on the Create Active Recall Session button in order to create a new one. When the user creates a new session, they will be prompted to give a title and choose the timer length, either 15 minute study and three minute rest, or three minute study, a 30 minute study and four minute rest. The user then spends the amount of time they choose studying and reading through notes, and the amount of rest time reflecting on what they read and trying to remember as much of it as possible. Once this is done, the user will have as much time as they need to create a flashcard based on what they learned and reflected on, again, without their notes, in order to ensure that they solidify what they do and do not know. The user can back out of this session at any time by hitting the back button on your save flashcard. The user then has the option to continue adding flashcards or go back to the active recall page. At this page, they are able to enter any past session to then edit any of the flashcards or simply just to study. In the future, we plan on adding a rote memorization screen, a feature to add images to flashcards, and a few other features. While working on this app, we did encounter a few problems, mainly Wi-Fi issues when trying to get on a Zoom or Discord call. To combat this issue, we, rec we would record each session. Additionally, at least one member of the team was able to attend the meetings with the mentors. This meant that after the session, we would report back to the other via Slack and Discord what the others missed and what to work on next. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to keep an eye out for the next version of Think About It.